parts radiator to suit the Toyota Celica. ST204 and the ST205, okay, from the 11th of 93 to the 8th of 99. Okay. Just to let you know, there's a few different variants, okay, within these. At the start of 94, so 93, 94, there's a uh, model overlap, okay, with the earlier models, okay, the way to tell the difference are they are, firstly, it's a shorter radiator, okay, and the second thing is the location of the hose and the cap will be reversed. So with the earlier models, you'll find the hose will be on the outside, the cap will be on the inside, okay, so that's the quickest way to tell the difference there. Also, within the, this range, there is a, another Type 2, and the quickest way to tell the difference between the two of those is basically the location of this bottom hose. Okay? As you can see, this hose is located over here on the passenger side of the vehicle, whereas there is another type with this hose is located on the driver's, uh, uh, sorry, passenger side of the vehicle. So again, quickest way to tell with the earlier 94 models, okay, is the location of the cap and the hose being reversed. Okay, and you also want to check the location of the bottom hose. Okay, with this particular type, it is over here on the driver's side of the vehicle. Okay, just run through a few of the features again with the top tank here. Okay, you've got four fittings across the front. Okay, you've got over on the far passenger side is where you find the cap with your overflow pipe facing towards the outside of the car on the passenger side. Then we'll towards the middle, you've got your top hose. Okay, across the bottom tank over here on the driver's side is the drain. Okay, beside that is the bottom hose. And then you've got your connection there for your sensor. Okay, you can also see one, two, three fittings across the front. Okay, and if I lean that down, you can see that's the automatic transmission oil cooler on the bottom there. Okay, this is suitable for both automatic and manual transmissions. If you have a manual transmission, these fittings can just be very easily removed and it just remains unused. It doesn't cause any problems whatsoever. Okay, for those with the automatic transmission, as you can see, we supply the fittings that are needed. Okay. Let's quickly turn it around and show you. This would be the front of the radiator, the front of the vehicle. So if you were standing at the front of the vehicle, looking into the engine bay, okay, that is the view you would have from the top. Okay, as you can see, over here on the passenger side of the vehicle is the cap with the overflow pipe facing towards the passenger side. Okay, more towards the centre, you've got the top cap. You can also see your fan fittings across the front. Okay, if you look down more towards the bottom of the radiator, you'll be able to see over on the driver's side is where you'll see the bottom hose. Okay, so that is the view that you would have looking from the top, from the front of the vehicle. And just one point I'd like to make with the caps. We always recommend that you get a new cap with the new radiator. The main reason for this being your existing cap might not be an exact fit. It could also have rust or other contaminants which are going to stop it from operating properly. So for those reasons, we always recommend a new cap with the new radiator. Okay? That way we can guarantee it will be an exact seal and fit. Okay. Let's quickly run through the dimensions of the core with you. When you're measuring your core width, okay, you're going from inside to inside. As you can see there, it has a core width of 630 millimeters. When you're measuring your height again, okay, you're going from inside to inside. And that is 350 millimetres. Okay, as you can see with the materials that we've used here, the aluminium for the core is a very high grade, high quality aluminium, which means your tubes and your fins are very strong and can dissipate the heat really quickly. Plastic we've used for the top and bottom tank, again, is high grade, high quality plastic, which is very strong. Okay. And also, i lay this down, you can see we've used copper fittings on the automatic transmission oil cooler. Okay, which unlike the aluminium type of fittings, these won't thread or damage very easily. Okay, it's for all these reasons that we've been able to do a three year, 60,000 kilometre warranty on all of our radiators. So hopefully this video has been to help you to find the correct radiator that you need for your vehicle. If you have any more questions or inquiries, please check on our site or you can give us a call on 1300 178 178. Thank you.